Hello. Oopsie daisy. And welcome to Cosmos with Bailey. I'm Bailey and I'm a clairvoyant psychic medium. Welcome. So today's video is going to be on false channels and false prophets. How do we get them? So this video is going to be a little bit more different. I'm just going to talk as I walk us through this diagram that I've drawn up in Photoshop <laughs> and on my tablet. So, okay. So here on the left, so we've got my cursor here that I've made bigger. I'm going to explain to you what's going on and how we get these false uh, channels and false gods and false prophets and uh, the ego consciousness um, and the lower realm consciousness, uh, and it's not bad um, either. Uh, and then we have higher realms and higher consciousness and information streaming from the higher realms. And this all has to do with the energy or the energetics that someone is embodying and how self-aware and self-governed they are as a spirit or a soul. Or you could say here how much spirit is embodied. So we've got over on the right hand side a trained or initiated channel and uh, they're very clean and clear and embodying their spirit fully. And then here on the left we have... Um, a person who is claiming to be a false, uh, who is claiming to be a channel or a healer or, uh, you know, or, or whatever it is, a prophet or an or oracle or a seer, and they have not embodied their spirit. They are embodying a different realm or expression of energy. They are not fully embodied in their spirit and connected to the higher realms. However, I will say with this false channel here on the left, they do have a higher self. They probably are just not highly connected into it. Everyone has a higher self. But I also do not know, uh, this is a very generalized video. I don't know someone who is being a false prophet and what their past lives are. I don't know what karma they're finishing off. I don't know what they've done in their past lives. This is a very generalized video on how we get how false channels and lower realm information work through people versus how it works through um, a spiritually ordained and initiated channel. So this should help you uh, become more discerning about spiritual information that you're ingesting and also a very basic and common sense explanation of how this actually happens. Um, Yes, so because we are evolving out of the ego consciousness in this new planetary era, I've done a video on this, uh, the Atlantean, the eclipse of the Atlantean ego, which is one of the first videos that I did. You might want to go back and watch that one to see what's going on. What happened in the old world planetary cycle is because we fell into density at the fall of Atlantis, we also had channels and uh, very gifted uh teachers and whatnot fall into density too. When I talk about density, if you just come here where my cursor is, um, density is of the ego consciousness and uh, quote unquote cut off from spirit. It is just operating off here, the lower realms, whereas over here we've got someone fully connected into the highest spiritual realms. And a lot of people like to say, you know, that this lower psychic stuff is really bad. It serves a purpose for initiation and also moving into, into higher expanded states. You have to move out of these lower psychic astral realms and into these higher realms over here on the right hand side um, and, and embody more of your spirit. Unfortunately, uh, that does require you to do a little bit of work and also be very dedicated to embodying more and more of your spirit. Previously, I'd say in the last few years, it's a lot. It was a lot more harder to connect into spirit. But because the cosmos is opening up into the new planetary era, we are getting aligned and opened up to higher spheres of consciousness. Consciousness, and this is why I feel there's so many stuff coming up in the spiritual communities about false prophets and uh, pointing fingers and whatnot. Because we are evolving out of that state of ego and spirit, and ego consciousness. And experiencing spirituality. So therefore we're starting to call out um, channels or spiritual teachings or whatnot that we are no longer in resonance with and we are evolving out of that. So we're going to see a lot of false channels and uh, you know maybe people we've followed for a really long time and we're going to stop resonating with them and become more reliant on our spirit because we've got more and more of our spirit coming through. 
um, in alignment with the new planetary cycle, which is the return of the matriarch um, and the divine feminine. And it is more in alignment now with love, beauty. Yeah, that's what came through to me, love and beauty. So we're no longer needing these types of channels um, or this egoic consciousness to be, quote unquote, telling us what to do. We ourselves want to align with the heart and the art and the beauty and um, start creating with our spirits in that way. So how we know spirituality changes and we don't need spiritual teachings in the way we used to have them. We're going to be wanting to more align with the masculine and feminine and love and relationship. Um, it's a very different way of expressing spirituality and also knowing spirituality. Okay, so yes, okay, so I'm going to talk about ego consciousness here with my cursor. And um, here, the ego consciousness is predominantly expressed through what we call a bunged up <laughs> lower, shark, lower chakras. And so here we have the root chakra, the sacral chakra, and the solar plexus. And here where my cursor is, these are very, very opened and aligned and spiritually flowing chakras in the colors. Usually they're a lot more brighter and bigger and healthier. Um, whereas when we're in the ego consciousness over here on the left hand side, we've got the root, the sacral and the solar plexus. And they're very, very cloudy. And so that's when we embody ego and not spirit. We haven't... Um, and so therefore, when someone is embodying this type of consciousness, what they're channeling is going to come from the lower psychic realms through their channel um, from the ego consciousness. So usually what I've seen in the ego consciousness and with channels is it's something to do with the solar plexus, which is self-empowerment, and they're looking outside of themselves for empowerment. Um, they haven't done the necessary work or understanding or really truly understanding spirit empowerment like over here on the right hand side with our love and light. I've also seen with people in the ego consciousness who are spiritually bypassing and using the idea of love and light to cover up what's really going on within them. It's very, very common in the ego consciousness. Okay, so first and foremost, um, when we have egoic channels, they can be very, very, very sneaky because what they'll do is they will uh, create a type of persona over what's tr how they're truly feeling within themselves. Usually there is high levels of insecurity. Um, they'll be very, very focused on survivalist, e.g. getting their immediate needs met through using and abusing others' um, finances or attention. Uh, getting your attention is very important to them. They want to be validated and they want to be seen and they want to be seen as... If you move my cursor up here, false gods, false prophets and false gods. That is the lower psychic realm. And also I'm going to say just a little bit of information here. We got a lot of false gods in ancient Egypt and other um, eras. And we had a lot of uh, people channeling from these false gods and bringing down um, energy programs and whatnot. So anything of the old world consciousness and spirituality, we don't really need any more. And we are evolving out of, um, you know, the idea of gods. We, we are the spirit. Yeah, so, so usually when there is egoic channeling, you could just have someone straight up channeling from the ego and there'll be no, or none of this channeling from entities or false gods in the lower psychic realms. Um, it's usually very inauthentic. It's usually some a type of cover up of spiritual bypassing um, and not fully working with the energy body. I've also seen people in the spiritual ego consciousness um, try and do healing work and whatnot. And um, it's coming from, again, the solar plexus, a uh, weak solar plexus, and wanting to get that external empowerment from without, with, with outside of themselves. I've done a previous video on the martyr complex and the savior complex in spirituality. And how it's really sticky and icky um, and they get, they're get looking outside of themselves for external validation and self-importance. They haven't really understood true spirit empowerment. A very common about now on the earth. And then also... What we've got here, excuse me. <laughs> um, now, where was I? 
Yes, okay, so yeah, very common to just have straight ego talking. I've had that experience. And then I've also witnessed someone who has had um, an interference on their own channel, and it was very obvious. Uh, usually if you're very honed um, with spiritual discernment and whatnot, you'll be able to tell the difference. Um, yeah, it's very sneaky because people can portray this, themselves in many, many different ways, and especially online. That has been a big message that has come through my dream realms. Time and time again, you can be whatever you want online. So, yeah, there's no connection to the high realms. I'm also going to say that this type of consciousness isn't inherently bad, um, but we are evolving out of it. And you will see uh, things start to collapse in on these types of people that have been maybe reigning over the past few years as, as we see uh, more aligned spiritual teachers and healers step in. So, yeah, uh, usually there's a lot of deception in the information that comes through these channels. Um, it's not really in alignment with what's actually happening in the cosmos. By ingesting this information, you are taking it into your energy body and working with it. Uh, you can go down um, spiritual pathways that you never needed to go down. You can get incredibly confused. You are not, you are listening to this false channel instead of yourself. Uh, you are most likely disempowered in yourself to be listening to false channels in the first place. Um, you should only ever be listening to yourself with a strong solar plexus and your own intuition before you go giving your power away to false prophets. False prophets get their power from there uh, because they cannot get the true empowerment within. If you see from the solar plexus here, they're looking to get the power from you, giving the attention and the money because they cannot cultivate strong sense of self. Their strong sense of self comes from the attention and admiration that they get from bringing down um, information or whatever it is or whatever they're doing or their courses. Usually they're wanting financial gain. It's not about your spirit. It's about them. Yes. And um, so what I've also seen, they, these types of channels also have a higher self. You don't know what they've done in their past lives. They could have given themselves away time and time again. Um, they're very, usually how these services are, set, are set up, it's very unprofessional, but also at the same time, it may look professional and usually will be very, very surface regurgitated stuff. There are usually high levels of plagiarism, plagiarism copying and pasting from other people and then claiming it to be theirs. I've seen this happen time and time again. This has happened to me with some of my information and some other intuitives. I've had other people copy me and then I've dreamt about it. Um, usually there's very, and in these types of channels, there's very, very little amounts of true light and um, there'll be a lot of deception and deceivement um, and painting things that are not truly what's going on. So that's the ego. Ego is deception. It's not spirit. If you are truly aligned with spirit, you would never uh, be in this realm in the first place, nor would you be wanting to trick and deceive people for your own self-gain. That is of the ego. So there's, there'll be something to do there and attachments to do with the solar plexus. Um, they can say all sorts of things about their chakras, but um, depending on where they're channeling from, that is where their consciousness is sitting. You cannot pretend to come from the higher realms if you are actually coming from here. <laughs> I've seen all sorts of things go on. Okay, and so that's a really good example of lower realm density. What you are, what you embody in your energy field and in your chakra system you can only channel from here. All right, so now let's let's move on over to the chakra system. So the chakra system is in our energy body and we all have chakras. And ideally when they're very spiritually healthy and, and you're embodied and you're spiritually empowered, like true self spiritual empowerment uh, versus false, empower, false empowerment, true empowerment, true empowerment with spirit in higher realms, False empowerment, false channels with lower realm energies. What you embody, you can only um, channel from or speak on. But yeah, deception. Okay, so when we are spiritually healthy, we are very, very spiritually empowered. When it comes to our true self empowerment, you really want to work with your chakra system um, and get those really open and flowing with life force and, and you'll start to feel so much better in your body. 
Uh, things like um, what I'm going to say here, what what are called um, uh, working on just your belief system in your mind is not going to get you to true self empowerment. You're still going to feel really insecure and whatnot. If you feel insecure, you've probably got a very weak solar plexus, and you can go off into all sorts of things, and you won't be able to connect into what you truly want as a spirit and a soul and be unique and authentic in your natural energies. So, the reason why, uh, let's see, yeah, so this is, I, I put train channel, but essentially it's just someone super embodied in their spirit. And when you're really embodied in your spirit and you're working with life force and things are flowing really amazing in your energy body, it's really, really hard to lie or deceive. Uh, so, and you're really, and you're working from the inner realms, not just the external realms of what the ego is working off. When you are embodied in these higher energetics and you're working with your chakra system, it's really hard to, it's really hard to lie. It's really hard to deceive. You want the best to everyone and you're really embodied in light and you, and you, you can't lie. When you are embodied in high levels of light, it's very difficult to deceive people because you can't because you're so connected into your spirit and also what happens here you can see the chakras are super open and the channel is super owing and flowing with energy from the higher realms they have done the necessary work to move up and through the lower realms or the astral realms where there's all these icky gunky entities and false gods sitting uh, and they've moved up and gotten discernment from these realms and moved on up into the higher realms. You have to move through these realms and get very, very high levels of discernment in order to uh, start working with higher energies in your energy body. Discernment is a spiritual gift. So if we go, if we move over here onto the left hand side, when we are channeling or working with energies in the lower psychic realms or the astral, the psychical energetic information we receive is going to come from that realm. So if you're connected into a naughty entity and believing it to be some type of a galactic federation or whatever it is these days that people talk about, that information or the psychic information is coming from the lower psychic realms of manipulation and deceivement. So this person is willingly receiving manipulative and deceiving information and they're broadcasting it out into the physical reality. The only way that someone can do this is because they already have a low sense of self. There's no true empowerment of the spirit. Whatever you are embodying is what you will channel. So um, if you already have low morals and ethics of the ego and you feel very, very insecure, most likely um, something will attach onto you and you will channel from that because it gives you a false sense of empowerment. These entities or beings are looking for um, people who want a false sense of empowerment or popularity or fame. Usually um, what I've seen in these false channels is that they're very, there's, there's not a lot of light and personality in them. They don't really feel like real life people. And um, there, there's a, a, a big loss of a sense of self. They're probably very, very lost, some of them. Um, I think it can go either two ways. Very, very lost souls who get an attachment and want to be popular um, and seen for something and are very, very lost and confused. And then they get sort of um, these attachments and they go on these pathways that give them sort of a clarified importance. Um, and then you've got people who do this on purpose and they're wanting to be famous they're wanting to make money off of you. I think it can go, um, and um, they may have gotten a lot of attention and fame from it, and so they will continue. The thing is, uh, yeah, yeah, and so, and yeah, and I think that, yeah, that pretty much sums it up, I reckon. I'm going to put um, a list of things um, of the differences after this video that you can look at. Thank you so much for listening and I hope that was very, very helpful.